What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me, and welcome to the Voyagers Movie Review. There will be no spoilers, just to let you know. This movie was directed by Neil Berger, stars Colin Farrell, Ty Sheridan, hopefully I said that right, and a lot more other people. Now, I'm always usually excited by these type of movies, and by these type of movies, I mean movies that I had no clue even existed, but I go to the theaters to watch. <laughs> so this is one where uh, I never saw a trailer, never saw an image of it. All I knew is I read, saw the uh, the times for it, and I saw the genre, and it said sci-fi and thriller, and I was like, oh, so up my alley, sounds great, I love sci-fi, and so anything sci-fi, at least it's going to give me a few points, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, it's going to give me a little bit, a little bit of what I like, at least. Like I said, I went in completely blind, but I'm going to say just a tiny bit of what this movie is, uh, what this movie is about, just the slightest a bit. Earth is starting to become inhabitable, and so basically they're starting to send a group of people to this planet, but it takes like 80-something years to get there, so in all reality, they're going to send some kids there, and they're going to grow up on the ship, and they're going to make babies on the ship, and their kids' kids, so their grandkids, will make it to that uh, planet. They're probably not going to, you know, 80-something years, very likely chance is they're not going to make it. The only adult that's on that ship so far right now is Colin Farrell. And basically, there's a lot of rules on this ship. There's a plenty of rules, rules that make sense when you actually list them down. They make sense, you know, just to have some civilized, you know, place. It's it's like, a, you know, just any other place on Earth. Although, they drink this thing called the blue, which is essentially just, you know, some liquid that has this blue thing in it. And apparently, the blue is kind of pretty much a drug. It actually suppresses more of their human aspects, like their touch they how they feel stuff so stuff like you know sexuality so sexual shit it makes them uh, more suppressed and then keeps them in check and not so damn horny all the time <laughs> but one day one character ty's character actually uh understands and finds out what this blue actually is and him and his friends stops drinking the blue and uh they start to become you know more aware of things they become more sensitive to touch and, and feel what it is to be more human you could say imagine you have never felt what it's like to be attracted to someone you never felt those you know those tingles those butterflies in your stomach ever until you're like an adult and you don't know anything of what that is it kind of can be bad you're not taught anything you know in terms of your body you don't understand really your body if we're being honest until you're an adult some animalistic type thing behavior might be happening you know what i'm saying and that's exactly what happens um you may be thinking well what, what's such a thriller about this well the thriller aspect comes into the point where everyone essentially stops drinking the blue and so now you have a bunch of horny bastards <laughs> running this ship and not only horny bastards but violent bastards you know what i'm saying violent uh people who are honestly just psychopaths and their true colors start to show when they get to be themselves, and they get to control their own body. And while, you know, start to think morally, well, should you really be essentially drugging anybody? No, I would say no. But uh, they probably should have thought about that way ahead of the time if someone didn't want to drink the blue. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I liked it. You know, I was pretty entertained throughout the whole entire movie. I gotta say, I think all the performances were solid, and I like the whole, you know, sci-fi aspect. Yeah, they're going to some place, they're on this ship, and everything's very tight corridor-esque, you know? So when it starts to become hectic and the thrills start to set in, you start to feel something. And this movie does make you feel uncomfortable at times because there's certain characters in this movie that are genuine, disgusting human beings. You know, they are genuinely horrible people um, who only get to realize who they truly are, you know, <laughs> so many years later. You know, they're animal horrible selves are unleashed you know after not drinking this substance and uh you get to see some horrible people and if some things happen where you're like oh that's uh oh this is just wrong this is just wrong jesus my problems from this movie kind of stem from the fact of a few things like the ending i'm not gonna say it obviously but the ending uh was a little too smooth for the for some people you know there's a whole mob mentality that happens throughout this movie and it kind of shows how very sheepish people could be <laughs> very very sheepish like uh, people just follow others that just you know when they're scared when people are vulnerable people just start to listen to you and yeah 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 do your thing and they will follow leaders even though leaders not all leaders are good 
And uh, <laughs> for sure, there are some uh, bad leaders in this movie. Really bad leaders, like psychopathic leaders. And they don't really, you know, that's all I know, to be fair. that This place that they're on, this ship, is really all they know. The mission is to get to, you know, the planet. But some people may feel, well, if I never make it there, why does it matter? Who cares about my grandkids? Why does it matter that they make it? I'm not going to fucking make it. You know, a lot of things, people may be selfish. People may be evil. <laughs> people may be good. There's good people on there. But you start to, once those blue the the liquid goes away you start to get people's true colors and you got to, you get to see how people may be affected on this tiny well not tiny pretty big ship but small in comparison to just living on earth and without knowing their bodies never learning what they how they feel and, and never getting to deal with it you get to see some really brutal people it, again brutal <laughs> But like I said, I do feel there are times where uh, things just go too smooth, you know, too easy. Uh, of course, there are times where, yeah, it's brutal or whatever. But at sometimes you feel like maybe this mob mentality is a, a little too uh, uh, easy to, to please. And I feel like really like that amount of people truly believe. I mean, I guess it can be that, right? But it's like, damn, you sure? This isn't a movie where the characters are great at all. You know, you don't really become attached to anybody. But you just kind of want some people to be safe because, you know, you're probably a normal human being and you see some people in bad situations, you think, yeah, hopefully they get out good. <laughs> you know, not because their character was really well realized or you really enjoyed them at all. Yes, they're good people, you know, but that's all they are. They're just a good person. Okay, cool. But um, what really sets them apart from every other character, a lot of them kind of blend together. So many characters just overlap as just either good people or people that are not good and there's really only the two main characters that truly are somewhat fleshed out to the point where it's like you know who you would like and i'm sorry if you like this other dude you're just kind of fucking crazy but <laughs> and then like i said i feel like some things are just a little too safe you know there are obviously consequences in some areas but there are times that um you know you feel like things could have gone some other way and I probably even should have gone some other way, but instead they go a little easy on some characters and uh, they just kind of escape because they're main characters. You know, they, they go on with their lives and it's just like, all right, sure. Um, but uh, the odds are essentially everyone would be dead. <laughs> and especially the ending, I feel like it, it gets played for a little bit too safe. And uh, I feel like there, there wasn't real consequences for a lot of the buildup. Uh, that happened but honestly I thought it was a solid thriller like I had fun I liked the fact that it, the setting was in space I like that whole thing I like the idea of you know uh, these people going to some place that they won't be alive but their grandkids will be alive so people have different opinions on that you know it's not fleshed out as as I'm sure a lot of people would want it there's a lot of uh, darker themes that they approach in this movie with uh, very lightly you know I'm sure they could get into it a lot more nitty-gritty but for what they did, I feel like it was pretty solid. I enjoyed myself. It was a it was a fun time at the theater, uh, and I had I had a good time. And overall, I'm gonna give Voyagers a seven out of ten. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I thought the actors did a good job. It was entertaining seeing a lot of these act, especially the people that were really damn evil. You know, they're convincing evil people. I think the movie could have been better if they just maybe pulled some more punches, maybe uh, make it even more intense. You know, because I think. Some characters do get uh, off pretty easy at times, and then I think, uh, uh, you know, some consequences aren't uh, quite remembered during stuff like in the ending, but hey, man, it is what it is. I enjoyed the movie. I had a, I had a good time, and I, I thought it was a, a solid space thriller. I'm surprised, man. I, I had no clue what it was, and it turned out to be good. I'll see you guys next time. Did you watch Voyagers? Did you like it? Did you not like it? I, I see this getting pretty uh, bad reviews, or, or, or sometimes mixed. I see some, some good ones, some bad ones, some okay ones. And I guess that's every movie in the world, right? Some people are going to like it, some people aren't. And um, that's the greatness of opinions, man. That's the greatness of just talking about movies, talking about games, and sharing our opinions. Seeing what I think, seeing what you think, let me know what you think, all right? See you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace out. Sword Skyward, trying to be a legend ever as my name was Zelda busting these ghosts with some shit I personally wrote. Everything I touch is gold. Call me mighty, some mighties will call you Poseidon. Cause you drowning in all the mediocrity writing. This is your series finale. I'm on my pilot and flying high. Then you never did with daddy be trying. 